former member of the Bishop Sycamore High School football team, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, A.J. Hawk. Yeah! AJ, uh, of course, Ohio is associated with this fraudulent high school team that has adults running around playing against high schoolers. Your thoughts on Bishop Sycamore, and have you ever played this team or recruited to play for this team? I, I had not heard of this team until all of this kind of happened, but I assumed that whenever I heard about it and I was reading this, I didn't see it uh, played on ESPN. I assumed they won the game. I'm like, you have some 22, 24-year-old guys that are some JUCO, some studs, how did they get blasted so bad? No, they got smacked by everybody, not just IMG. I think they lost 40-something to nothing as well to maybe Woodland Hills. Were they Hills going to dude. school at all? Were they going no, to school? No, what are you talking about? No, this is, these are dudes that are just having a good old time <laughs> playing high school football and boozling people. That's what this is. They are terrible. Uh, it seems like they do not have the grown men's strength on their side. Pictures have emerged of their first wrestling match, though. Uh, a guy very similar to Bobby Lashley gripped up what appeared to be a sophomore in high school. Yeah, there it is. They're starting their high school wrestling program is also off and running. Never would have guessed that Ohio is involved in this, though, AJ. Never in a million years would have guessed that this is an Ohio thing. I, I thought of you right away when I saw this story break, and I saw that they were uh, – they're like the Columbus area, too, I believe. I'm shocked I haven't heard of them. Same thing, I, I thought of Connor's big dumb face, too, when I heard that Cam Newton was getting uh, released. Good I was like, hell. oh, this guy is going to be – you, it's, you can't even be around Connor, I would imagine, right now. Bishop Sycamore High School in A.J. Oh Hawk's gosh. home. How does this happen? Trent, how does this happen? You're at Lipscomb Academy. And how does this happen? And, and, and is this a normal thing for adults just to be acting like a high school football team and playing against high school kids? I don't understand how this even works. Bro, know. my defensive coordinator texted me. I'm pulling up the text right now. The stuff yesterday. And we had talked about it a little bit because we'd all watched the games on Saturdays. And Sunday, we kind of prepped on our own. Um, so, like, yesterday, we're getting in the office and we're just starting to talk about it. And he texts me all this stuff. I, this is bizarre. I mean, how does, how does nobody find this out before the game's played? <laughs> okay. So, how do you do it? Do you talk to the other team's coach? Like, because you're at Lipscomb Academy. You're very I would have. I want to know everything about everything about our opponent, not just for a scouting perspective, but, you know, we got to, again, let's go back to what we were just talking about. You have all these emotional teenage boys. It, you're asking for something terrible to happen in a game if you haven't prepped your team on how to handle what may happen on the other side. So you want a good understanding of the coaching philosophy that you're playing against, the type of players they are. I call refs and ask about, hey, or is this team we're playing disciplined? Like, you want to do as much due diligence on the team you're playing as possible to protect your players because you're, you're throwing them out there on a Friday night for 48 minutes. And, you know, you want to make sure that the other side treats the game with the same level of respect and professionalism that you try to teach your kids to, to play it with. I love that if you were to reach out to a ref and a ref go, I'll tell you what, quarterback looks damn near 40. Oh, damn near 30. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's, he's got a deep voice. I saw him smoking cigarettes on the sideline. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a great handshake, to be honest. I don't know. I didn't expect it. Uh